In today's video, my friend Anna and I are going to talk about the things she would have liked to know before she married into a Chinese family. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, I'm here with my friend Anna from Germany. Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm Anna and I've been living in China for about 10 years with my husband and we live in Anhui province in yes. rural China. Rural, rural China. Yes, so I have come here from Beijing to visit Anna for a weekend and yeah, in today's video we are going to talk about what she would have liked to know before marrying into Chinese family and I think for me that's a very interesting topic because Ling Ling is not married yet so who knows if, is, if it's going to be a Chinese. If it is then I will be very thankful for this video for sure and I hope that this video is helpful for some of you guys out there as well. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about this topic. You got married when? In 2010. Yeah. 2010. So you met your husband in in Henan, right? Yes. Yeah. And we met in Henan. And then some long distance, and yeah. then they all over came. the city, back and forth, and yeah. then at some point you decided. Did you get ma You didn't get married in the city, right? No, no, no. At Bern, you can't get married in rural China. You oh. usually have to go to the <laughs> province capital. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Yeah. So you got married when? In 2000. In 2010. Yeah. 10. No, wait. No, no. 2012. 12. <laughs> 2012. <laughs> okay, see, she's getting old here. <laughs> 2012. So you have been married for a bit now, I would say a bit. And uh, five years, yeah? Five years, yeah. Yeah. And your husband is from the city, right? Exactly. Yeah, village just out of sight of, but still kind of, he belongs to this place, right? Yeah, kind of. yes. It's yeah. all the same, it just. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, yeah. So married for five years to a Chinese guy from. Arnhem province and you had been in China for quite a while before you got married, right? Yes, I came in 2006. <laughs> mm, yeah, so I feel like you already had a pretty good idea about like what is Chinese culture, what are you getting yourself into, but there were a few things you were a little surprised about, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> even though I spoke the language quite fluently and I've heard like I have heard about Chinese families and I have heard about the concept of you marry into a Chinese family but mm -hmm. I really I didn't know what that meant. No. 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 Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so can you kind of try to describe your experience of like what does it mean? Well it means like when you say yes, you say yes to your husband, his mom and dad and cousins and aunts and kids and more cousins and cousins <laughs> and distant relatives. Third, fourth, fifth grade. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> you say you say yes to the whole family. Yes. So you might love your husband, but if you're not a super fan of his parents or you know the other relatives around you, then <clears throat> it just it's a good thing to know in advance, I guess. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. important. I think one tip or slash advice that I've heard from other girls is to locate yourself and your husband in a far away city like far away from his parents because then it's easier to manage on the phone or you go there and visit for Chinese New Year or maybe once or twice a year yeah it really depends actually you can also live together if yeah. <laughs> if your husband is very supportive and has the courage to stand up to his parents sometimes yeah because it's difficult yeah so that's a bit of an issue here in china because a lot of chinese people were are single children um i think it's more in the urban uh, yeah, areas yeah. right like it's normal to have two three kids yeah yeah so if they had daughters in these areas and they were allowed to try again and if it was another girl then too bad try one more time and that's why they have a lot of girls here i guess a lot of kids <laughs> where i'm dating in beijing it's a different story like almost every single a guy I'm seeing or have been seeing they are all single children which means that they are very used to always having all the pressure stress on them but also always listen to their parents like their parents pay a lot too much probably attention to what they're doing in their life and it's not only when they're young it's the whole way up yes right? and then they pay lots of attention to the new 
a woman in his life too. Yeah, <laughs> and if she's foreign too, yeah. It's like, so I've heard a lot of stories of Chinese who are like, yeah, I'm from this province, my husband is from another province, and the parents didn't accept it because I was from that other province. So try to imagine when you look like this. And you're from another country. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. So you really need to make sure that your husband is going to stand up for you. And yeah, you also said it's very important to be on the same path, right? On yes, the same you page. have to be on the yeah. same page about a lot of topics before you actually say yes. <clears throat> yes. Well, like as an example, like what kind of things should you kind of agree on before you say yes, I do. Yay. <laughs> well, I think for lots of couples, it doesn't matter if they're like mixed Chinese or it's just two Americans. The first thing, or well, maybe it's not the first, but you should think about: Do you want children? This mm. is a huge topic in China. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So how is it again with children here? If you don't want a child, <laughs> then it's gonna be complicated because traditionally, actually, most grandparents would be like, "You have to have one." And then if you have a husband that does not want to stand up to the grand uh, to the parents, well yeah. then that's your first point of where you might have a fight and you have to come to the same pit on the same page. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's very common here as well that even though the woman doesn't want a child, child she will still have a child and then she will give it to her parents. And then she'll just keep living life, right? Yeah. Like, well, it's, yeah, it's it the happens. pressure. It's just too, yeah. too much for some people. I mean, yeah. we are lucky. We can just say no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the pressure is really on them. So yeah, that's definitely one issue. Another issue could be location, right? Like, yes. Where are we going to live? And I'm, how long? I mean, <laughs> when you're like a girl that came to foreign and comes to China, mm. meets a cute Chinese guy, and they're like, yes, let's get married, and you're all in love with China, and you think it's <laughs> awesome, I'm gonna be staying here forever. China is just <laughs> la, amazing. Yeah. But then imagine like five <laughs> years in, yeah, and then all of a sudden you think, Things I change. would like to go home. And then, mm. yeah, so this is something you really have to talk about before you get married. Yeah, so it's both like, it's both, is he willing to leave his parents? Is he able to speak your language uh, at, at home? Like, of course, it might be easier if you're from like an English native speaking country, but like for us, Germany, Denmark, mm. we have our own languages. In Denmark, it's not easy to find a, a job if you have a foreign name and don't speak Danish, unless you're an engineer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Right, yeah. <laughs> As your engineer. <laughs> yeah. So he he he, he can almost only turn into like a, a house husband. What's that called? A housewife. Which is not too bad if is he it, agrees to do it. If yeah. he likes to do it. If that's a fulfillment. Yeah. But if it's not, especially if he is used to being the one in charge of everything here, because maybe you don't speak Chinese, or maybe your Chinese is just a little, you know, not so high level, or if he's just like. The macho man, you know, I'm gonna take care of it. Like it's also Chinese culture, right? Like the guy he has to be he's in charge, you know. He makes the money and then you go back to like as an example Denmark and then I have to be in charge of all bills, all communication with the rest of the world around us, and also work. And then he just has to stay at home and take care of the kids and it's raining outside all the time and the winter is extremely long, like cold. Right. And cold, yes. <laughs> long and cold. So I think that is definitely a very important, uh, very important topic to talk about beforehand, for sure. Yeah. So what we just wanted to say with this video was <laughs> to make sure that your husband is able to stand up against his parents if they they don't agree and if you still want to marry him, and probably teach him a little bit of English on the way if you're thinking about going abroad at some point. <laughs> And, uh, and also make sure that you're on the same page with him, right? I think yes. that was it. And check out the parents before you say yes. I would also say that's very important. Like, yes. go and have a meeting, you know, go and hang with them and see what kind of people they are. Like, there are huge differences in China. Rural China versus urban China is, like, there are so many differences. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very different. And also north, south, east, west. Yeah, it's just you know. a big country. <laughs> Yeah, so <clears throat> just make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into. And I, I also just want to say that I am also insanely in love with China, but I also kind of know inside that I might not stay here forever. So if you're at that point where you're still crazy in love, I don't want to try to ruin your dreams, you know. I just want to say 
it might happen that at some point you start seeing a little more clearly and maybe school system, <laughs> school yeah. education for your child, <laughs> just say that might happen. So <laughs> that's another thing to consider. Just be prepared. Just be prepared, yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I hope we didn't cross all your dreams. <laughs> hope you're still gonna marry that cute little Asian guy or Chinese guy you found <laughs> somewhere in China. And yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you to Anna again for helping me with this video. So much fun here in Anhui province. We're gonna go out for a buffet now, so we need to uh, and, uh, get ready. <laughs> and get ready. <laughs> yeah. So remember to check out her blog. Lost mm -hmm. China's Lost Panda, right? China's Lost Panda. China's Lost Panda, and you can also follow her. Her and her family's uh, Weibo account is mostly a lot of pictures of her little daughter Sophie. Yes. Yeah, I'll put the links in the description box below so you can find them there. Also, remember to follow my Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon, all Lena around, and then we'll just see you again very, very soon. Also, a little thumbs up, please. Yeah, that was it. Nothing else. Okay, we'll see you again very, very soon. Lingling and Anna is Anzia and Zai Bye bye. bye.